here is a 1931 Elvis 1260 Beetleback. Um, it's a truly super motor car. Um, it's had much recent expenditure on the top half of the engine. You can hear it idling in the background. Um, twin bronze bodied SUs. Probably, I should say, armoured wiring loop. Uh, being a 1260, uh, this has poor ignition. Um, fitted with an electric radiator fan. It's done a great deal of touring in Europe, this car. Um, Stored quite some time ago, but it's still looking very, very good. There are some nicks and here and there in the paint. But overall, it presents very well. Um, as you can see, there's a sticky seat in the back for just one person. A step there on the side to get up into the dicky rear mounted fuel tank. Interior is in very good order overall. Uh, instruments, everything's working. Oil pressure is fine for idle. Dynamo does charge, although it's not showing one at the moment. Um, the fuel gauge doesn't work. Um, right hand gear change, uh, centre throttle. Um, been out on the road in this car and it's, it's very quick actually, it's got quite a turn of speed. Um, the gearbox is fitted with a clutch stop um, so you can go up the box extremely quickly. No need to double your clutch but you need to on the way down. Um, that's just the hair, the famous Alvis hair seems to have a, a wound. I don't know what the story behind that is. weather equipment. Uh, there's a tonneau sitting down there. Um, the hood is concealed behind this panel. Uh, there's a two budget lock. Um, budget locks I should say. Which open those side panels and then the whole thing lifts out. So it's quite neat. Um, there's a little hood bag of sorts in the footwell. Um, Overall, a really, really super uh, vintage car and incredible value for money. 